Long enough to cover the subject and short enough to keep it interesting. Welcome to Out of My League. I'm Nick Diaz. <sighs> you smell that? Preseason overreaction Monday. How I've missed you. The Saints preseason game and LSU's first fall scrimmage. A time of year in which we get mad about a game that half the starters don't play in and we freak out over a glorified practice in which we cannot watch. Now, a lesson I learned from a coach years ago, this was in high school, was that everything we do matters. The way we tie our shoes, that matters. The way we dress, that matters. Tuck in our shirt, that matters. Shave. How we tip the waitress at pregame meals, that matters. Everything we do matters. But you shouldn't judge something and assume that that's everything about a person. So scrimmages... Spring games, preseason games, all that stuff, wrapped into one. I hate when people say, preseason doesn't mean anything. Well, no, it means something. It means something, in the same way that practice means something. I mean, uh, an NFL coach can tell, can say, look, after the first practice or two, we can pretty much know if a rookie can play or not. Yeah, that's just two practices. So preseason doesn't mean anything. It's not true. It means something. There are just rules of context to all of it. And I'll give you the two rules that I use that help me evaluate, you know, spring games, scrimmages, and preseason games like in the NFL. The first rule, line of scrimmage play. At the end of the day, it's pushing and pulling. And you either are good at it or you aren't. Now, with some exception with the offensive line, which we'll get to in a minute with LSU, a lot of that is rhythm and scheme and communication, which can only get better slowly over time and repetition. But for the most part, line of scrimmage play doesn't matter what scheme you're running. Either you're good at it or you aren't. Number two, if you see a player or a team doing the same things in preseason that they did during the regular season, then you know it's for real. Now, for all we know, everything else we see is bullshit, but then you know that one is for real. So the Saints, what do we know? Offensive line look good, their defensive line look good, and we know that they don't have fumbling problems. That's not usual. What we don't know is Zach Bond and Paulson, Paulson, I still can't say his name, Paulson Adebo. We don't know how good they really are. We don't know if Jameis and Taysom are really off timing with their receivers, even though it wasn't entirely their fault. See, this is what happens when you split first team reps with receivers, you end up with miscommunication. I digress. But with second year guys like Ruiz and Zach Bond, I've heard so many former players, they all said this before the 2020 season. They said, with the majority of these guys, wait until next season for them to pop. The big stars will pop immediately, the Justin Jefferson's, the the uh, Joe Burrows, the Justin Herberts, the Chase Youngs, the, the superstars will, will mostly pop immediately. But the rest of them, eh, they may take them a little time. They, they may need a full offseason to get comfortable again, and then they'll come out. So them playing well, like Zach Bond or Cesar Ruiz, could mean something, or it could mean nothing. LSU's scrimmage. Here's what we know. The defensive line dominated the offensive line in pass protection. This is your yearly reminder that defense always has the upper hand in the preseason. No reason to freak out. Good news is we have context to this defensive line domination. Ed Ogeron said that it was mostly on third and long plays where the defense knew it was going to be a pass play, and so they just pinned their ears back and went. Also, it wasn't a physicality issue. It was a communication issue. A fixable problem. Bad news, the offensive line had the same communication issues all of last season that they had in the scrimmage on Saturday. And if you follow the rules I gave, this is where worry should start to begin. The O-line coach, Brad Davis, he's arguably the most important hire you'll make this offseason. To me, Max or Miles being the starting quarterback, even though I preferred Max, and most of you probably did as well, To me, one of those two quarterbacks didn't determine the win-loss record for LSU this year. To me, the offensive line will determine the win-loss record for LSU this year. And Brad Davis has only been here since the summer. And he's just now getting practice time with the offensive line. So worrying, yes. But in no way should you be panicking about the offensive line. 
especially not after the first scrimmage. Now, certain players stepped up in the scrimmage for LSU, but the ones that did step up and were, according to reports, consistently dominant in practice all throughout fall camp so far, that's the ones you look at. Not if they just randomly popped up and had one good day at the scrimmage. So the freshman running backs, Thunder and Lightning, Armani Goodwin and Corey Kiner. Okay, they've looked... They look physically impressive in camp, but you haven't seen them necessarily break out or heard about them breaking out all throughout fall camp. Now, they may be good in season, but we don't really know because, for all we know, they just had one really good day and it happened to be entire stadium at a scrimmage. Brian Thomas, the second wide receiver, he balled out. I know there's some truth to him doing that in the season because he, according to reports and according to other coaches and according to other players in interviews have said hey brian thomas he's awesome well what happens in the scrimmage brian thomas he's awesome now the d-line wasn't good last year nick what about that the defensive line was bad in stopping the run and rushing the passer they were actually one of the best in the sec statistically speaking Again, if you were doing it all fall camp and you were doing it even last year and you also did it in the scrimmage in the preseason game, then I know there's some truth to it. Everything else, for all I know, could be bullshit. Could be true. But I hate when people say preseason doesn't mean anything. Something doesn't mean everything. Don't take one little thing and assume it means everything. But everything that they do, everything we all do, means something. There's your fortune cookie wisdom for the day. Do with it what you will. Thanks for listening to Out of My League. If you like what you heard, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or follow me on Twitter and Facebook in the description link below.